Hey folks, Crazy Clamor 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Lot Lot. <laughs> and uh, this was probably only released in Japan. It was created by a company called Tokuma Shoten and licensed to IREM in 1985. And it's a puzzle game. Um, you have uh, uh, four by four grid of boxes and in each box there are little uh, balls that will fall into them and uh, the balls are like little pachinko balls and you have uh, a little pointer that you control there is a second pointer that will move four seconds after you move and it will move to the same to the same place in the same direction that you moved but four seconds or so apart maybe a little less than that but uh, the goal is to get a certain amount of points that the game will tell you about that you need to reach and uh, the first the first level you have to get 20,000 points and um, there there will be a crab in the bottom left of the screen and that is your main enemy uh, if you give him the opportunity to uh, cut the floor of the bottom left box the uh, you will lose life now whenever wherever your pointer touches you will you can press the button and that will switch whatever the other pointer is touching see I'm switching the contents of one box to the box that the other pointer is at and pressing the button if he is touching contents of a box and you are pointing at an empty box it will the contents will switch over to your box and even if there's something in a box that you've already touched or that one of you is touching and you press the button to switch um, th the contents of that box will be switched with the other box and one box that you clicked on that has maybe more balls than the box that the other pointer is touching they'll end up having more balls. Now notice that there are walls that will disappear or floors will disappear and the contents in the box with the disappearing floors or walls will shift or they will fall down to uh, the box below and when you get to that bottom left box that says out above it you'll hear an alarm and the crab will try to come up and if you give him time to snip that little floor that it, the balls are gonna sit on then uh, you will lose a life so you will wanna switch out the contents of that box to an empty box and uh, walls on the far right will eventually open up and the balls will fall and uh, you can get 0 points, 10 points, 30 points, or 50 points. But listen for that alarm. You know, either either pointer can can switch over. Either the one you're controlling or the one you aren't controlling. Just so long as you press the button. But uh, you want to get the most points. So hopefully you'll have some balls on the far side, like there, that'll spill over into the 50 point uh, area. Early on, like now, you can uh, you can spend a little little bit of extra time trying to get the points. But eventually you're going to really want to watch that that far left side like a hawk and move over be able to move over balls so that the crab doesn't pinch that floor 
This game's really frickin' hard after the first level. Now we have to reach 60,000 points, so I need less than 40,000 more. This music is repetitive and annoying. But see the floors opening up, and sometimes the walls will open up. There will be a red ball eventually, and that is called the stopper. And it will block off uh, walls and keep uh, balls from rolling to the next uh, box. And uh, the only way to get rid of the stopper is to have it fall through a floor down into the one of the uh, uh, point uh, shoots. But if you do that, you get a 5,000 point bonus, which is nice. This game is just too frickin' hard. Like I said, you have to click on a, uh, press the button when you're on a box's uh, contents. Or, ah crap, I didn't get to it in time. Or uh, have the other pointer be on that, that box. And as long as one of you are on a box with contents, uh, and you press the button, you'll shift it over to where the other pointer is. It's a hard game to get used to, and it's... Even then, it's really frickin' difficult. But yeah, just keep an eye out. Uh, of course, you can move uh, the balls from the boxes before they reach the out area. Oh, shoot. There will be times when all the boxes have uh, have balls when uh, when the uh, crab comes up to cut the floor in the out space, and uh, you'll be screwed, of course. Then it just seems like uh, when you need the points on the second level and further on the walls just don't want to open on the far right boxes to give you the points and that out space is just gonna keep on friggin filling up with balls really friggin annoying like I said that red ball is the stopper it prevents balls from uh, going through it to get to the other uh, box next to it I mean extra layers of balls can roll across it but no balls can get through it but if you do manage to uh, huh, right after I clear it then more come down and again crap Ola well if the crab if you move it out just in time before the crab can snip it you'll have to go all the way back down and then come back up when when balls immediately drop back down yeah, I need points, and these stupid, stupid walls are not opening up. I have nowhere to, to switch those balls. <laughs> I was screwed. This had a uh, Famicom release, uh, you know, the Japanese NES or Nintendo Entertainment System. But yeah, if you can get, if you can drop, or uh, if the red ball drops through the floor if the floor on the bottom uh, boxes breaks open you'll get a 5,000 point bonus right like like uh, you just saw there it, yeah this game's a pain in the butt I I can't get good at this and uh, like I said this is this was probably a Japanese only game you might give it a shot if you like puzzle games, but this is just brutally hard. That stupid uh, box just above out just keeps filling up. Fortunately, I get a little time if if it if it's emptied, and then the crab has to go back down again. Well, that's my game. But yeah, uh, for the second level, you have to reach sixty thousand. 
You gotta put in a lot of uh, initials for your uh, for your name. Um, but uh, or letters. The second level, you have to reach 60,000 points. The third, 100,000. The fourth, 200,000. The fifth, 300,000. The sixth, 400,000. Seventh, 500,000. Eighth, 600,000, and so on. But like I said, there was a uh, Famicom release of Lot Lot. I don't know what else Tokuma Shoten made. But uh, here is the uh, cartridge. And from what I've seen, the game is much easier on the Famicom. But that was Lot Lot by uh, Tokuma Shoten and licensed to IREM in 1985. Well, this is Crazy Climber 80 saying thanks for watching Lot Lot. And I will catch you later in the future with another video. Have a good one, folks. Bye.